Elena. Hi, so it's Elena from EMP, and I'm here with Josh and Stevie from Thanks Bacteria. for coming over. Thank Hi, you, nice guys. Me. Thanks for the time. Um, so, like, it's good to have you back in the UK. How do you feel about it? Are you happy to be back? We love the UK. Love the the, uh, the crowds here are amazing, and it's always great to get out of the United States and play this rock music, you know, because um, it's just different in the States. It's more radio-driven, and here it's... Uh, you know, everybody gets into you know the entire scope of your career and more in you know songs that are kind of not just singles and it's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit more passionate live too. Yeah. You know, like I mean, maybe maybe it's a soccer mentality <laughs> thing. I don't know what it is. The culture is just more passionate. So, what would you say is your favorite thing about touring the UK? Uh, not the weather. <laughs> not, not the food either. <laughs> the, food, the, the food can, you know, you can find good food. Na I like Nando's, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I love Nando's. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. I don't know, favorite thing? Uh, I don't know, you know, like, I, I think that just the culture in general, like, it, the culture around London, it's hip, it's cool, it's fun, uh, shopping's good, you know? Yeah. So. Uh, so, what's the first funny on-the-road story that comes to mind? Go! First funny on-the-road story that comes to mind? Uh, okay, one time, um, <laughs> well, can, what can it, we say? It can't be sexual in nature, right? I think Something you can say everything. Oh, okay. Wait, this uh, is internet, I mean, right? our audience is like, yeah. This isn't TV? No, it's not TV. Go! You can go. Okay, go. one time we were doing a, uh, we were doing a, <laughs> Harley, Harley Davidson. I already know what you're saying. Good uh, saying. Festival in uh, in the states, and it was on private property, right? So it was this giant farm out in like uh, what is it, Illinois? No, I think not it was Illinois, Indiana, Indiana, Indiana. And so no cops could come because, in. Yeah, because okay. it was private, no cops could come in, and so it was basically thousands of. Nude like, people. It was like a nudist colony. But they were they were beautiful nude people. It was like old naked people everywhere. Biker. Yeah. And, uh. and when we by the time we went on, there was like seven <laughs> naked girls in like the front row. It was crazy. We I, I just wow. and then uh, and then during that show during Sorry, another guy uh, proposed to his girlfriend. Uh, it was it was just a, a really bizarre night and yeah, one, was, one for the record books for sure. Yeah, strange. It wasn't it was it wasn't like oh this is neat you know like it was like oh what's going on? Yeah, <laughs> this, this is weird. Yeah. This is weird out here. Yeah. Yeah. I can imagine. I was I was uh, in a spa in Germany once, and I didn't know that people in Germany go to the spa naked. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I had no idea. I was there like, <laughs> on a business trip. I was there like in my swimsuit, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And are combining. Saw, it's yeah. like male, females, yeah. everything, right? Yeah, yeah. I just saw this like old man coming in. <laughs> yeah. it, was that, it was not nice. It, was it, was, nice. it wasn't it's a sexy spa. It was, it was nice. just yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Gross. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. So I feel you guys. Anyway. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, so, like, of course, you guys tour a lot, and especially in like in twenty years of career, like you, you toured a lot. Um, when you're on tour, what? How do you pass the time between venues? Oh well, you know, we all have our own things. Uh, I like to read a lot. We watch a lot of you know shows. Um, uh, we we write songs on the roads too. So yeah, the know. last few years, um, Josh and I have been working on music uh, nonstop. Um, so what we do, we, we uh, even before we had another band called Josh Todd and the Conflict. We still have it, and then before that, we were working on uh, some stuff we did with uh, Tommy Lee, and we were writing this all in hotel rooms around mm -hmm. the world, and recording, and writing and recording, and writing and recording, and demoing. We just archiving all these songs, and that's how some of the the songs for uh, War Paint uh, got started. Yeah. But yeah, that's a lot of. There's, you know, there's shopping malls yeah. and, you know, there's, you know, but a lot of the majority of the time, the free time was spent, you know, archiving songs. Yeah, well, that's productive. Like, most bands, like, have, like, a PlayStation with them or, like, they game yeah. or, like, do no, the marathons, no. but not you guys. So none of you is a gamer? No, no. I, I gotta no. learn something new, you know, I gotta spend my free time learning. Yeah, yeah. The, one yeah. of the bands we're touring with, uh, Adelaide's Way, you know, they're they're in the, the back lounge playing, you know, video games and I, I walk in there, I, I didn't I missed the whole wave of that, you yeah. know, and I I just and they're they're locked, you know what I mean? And I, I just don't yeah, you know, connect. But whatever. 
So I guess you're not addicted to any TV series or anything like that. Oh, many, I didn't many, say that. Many, I didn't say yeah? that. Yeah. I'm I'm totally done with you know. Ask me about any show. I've, I've probably seen it. I just watched the Ted Bundy tapes on uh, Netflix. Oh, I haven't seen it. It's yeah. it is. It's on uh, my list. It's really crazy. It's crazy that it it actually happened in life. Yeah. This guy's whole story, you know. Um, I'm still blown away by it. You know, we've read uh, books on him, and, and the whole story is is nuts. But this is like a journalist going in, and he dug up all these uh, tapes of talking to Ted in, mm -hmm. in jail, and then combined it with like the timeline of his story, and it's nuts. Crazy, yeah, it's yeah. on my you know, on my list, so I'm gonna yeah. watch it next. And yeah. what are you currently watching? Any TV series? Uh, you know, I'm looking for, and you know, like I hate it when you you get done with a great show and you just have nothing else to to go to. Uh, I haven't found one, so if you uh, if you find if you have something, uh, DM me. Yeah. Well, I've got something for you. Yeah, tell me. With that hat, have you seen Peaky Blinders? Love it. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. yeah Is that why that. you're wearing the hat? Yeah, I got a razor blade in here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You know, and I run. Um, seen, seen all those yeah. series. Yeah, love it. I, I, I love, I love a good period piece. Uh, Game of Thrones is quite nice. Ozark is amazing. I don't know if you guys have it here. It's no. great. No, no Ozark. Oh, oh my God. Jason Bateman. Okay, yeah. Look for that one. I'm gonna. That's, uh, that's, I'm gonna uh, it up. Thanks for the tip. Yeah. And the killing of Gianni Versace. Have you seen that? Oh man, that's I'm amazing. I'm like so embarrassed now. Everything you're saying, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. But yeah. Uh, so is either of you a Star Wars or like Marvel, DC, Harry Potter, Disney fan? I love Marvel. Star Wars. Marvel, uh, Star Wars, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What's your favorite character of all like... Of all those? Yeah. Uh, uh, oh gosh. I like Han Solo, you know. He's a stud. He's, uh, he's good. Yeah. Ladies yeah. man and, he, and he's like a rebel. I like him. Yeah. You know, the, the Marvel comics, um, I just got done watching The Punisher, mm -hmm. so right now, you know, it, yeah. it could change later today. Yeah, it depends know, but, what you see next. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but The Punisher is good. So, and if you could be a superhero uh, for one day, who would you be and what would you do? Wow. I, I don't know if there's a superhero that can just be invisible, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure there are, yeah. yeah. Um, oh. Isn't yeah. one of the Fantastic Four? Oh yeah? yeah? Oh great, then yeah. I would yeah. be invisible guy and uh, <laughs> and I would like uh, just I'm invisible uh, guy! <laughs> if that's not his name they should change it into right, invisible right. guy. It should be. I would, um, you know what, I try to solve like really uh, crazy crimes and and uh, just be a guy that could be places where no one knows you're there and, mm. and get information. What about you Stevie? Oh gosh. You know, I mean, Superman. He's got. He's, he, can, he can do it all. There, yeah. No one. No one can top Superman. And what you know would what you mean? do if you had like Superman powers? Oh Superman. man, what wouldn't I do? You know, <laughs> what couldn't I do? I could do anything I wanted. You know what I mean? Uh, That'd be tough, man. I, I, I don't know. Save the world. I mean, this. You'd have a this, lot of responsibility. Yeah. Sure. Great power comes great responsibility. But I'd be uh, Superman, so I'd, I'd be up for the task. All right. You know. And what about a supervillain? Wow. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I'd be the Joker because, <laughs> you know, he's, he's fun and it'd be fun to get into that character. Sinister. Uh, you know, I, I, I can't even think, uh, think of one. Uh, but there's Lex Luthor. There you go. Uh, well, he's, a, he's just like super genius, right? Mm. Uh, Mr. Freeze. Uh, the octave, you know, I don't, I don't know. It's like <laughs> depends from the mood, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. They're all, they're all rock stars. And what character from a movie, TV series, or book would you like to grab a beer with? Wow, wow. Um, I Tyrion Lannister because he <laughs> drinks and he knows things. Anthony Hopkins, Silence of the Lambs. You know, I'd love to get with him. I heard he's a sober guy too, so that would Wouldn't be cool. Wouldn't you be scared? Huh? Wouldn't you be scared? Uh, no, I think I just, uh, I think it'd be interesting. I think he's a credible actor, you know. Yeah. I talked, to him, I talked to him in, in, in Hollywood. He was very... Oh, really? Out there? Yeah. Like, crazy, crazy I, I was, I was crazy talking to him and dude. nothing was registering. Like, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes actors can be a little actory, you know. <laughs> actory. You know, but, All yeah. that makes sense, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> We are like, wow, you, like, who are you? Yeah, yeah. and I'm an actor. <laughs>
So the last question is a weird one. Yes. Mm. So you ready? So would you rather have a lifetime supply of free beer and never get hungover, or and listen carefully, a free um, lifetime supply of pizza and never get overweight? A lifetime supply of pizza. pizza. I love pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Easy. I mean, it would be, you know, like I don't drink much anymore. But uh, but you know if I if I guess I bet I didn't get hungover or if I didn't get in trouble yeah or uh, yeah didn't wake up in jail yeah that's maybe the thing beer yeah all right. we're promising like free beer and no hangover but we're not talking about like oh. <laughs> not getting arrested or anything right okay but well, then the pizza it's pizza, a safer bet safer, for me. Yeah. yeah good pizza is really addictive what's yeah, your favorite sure. pizza oh uh, we have a place called um, Lou Malnati's in Chicago. Yeah. 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 For That's me. It. For me. New York. New York. If it's thin, anything. You know. New York. He yeah. has a buddy that brings us that all the time on the road, and it's so yeah. good. You can. You can even get it flown anywhere in the yeah. country. Yeah. So it keeps you going when you're on tour. <laughs> yeah. I'm, uh, it's. it's I, I can't even tell you. I grew up with it, so yeah. I love it. You know, either pe you know people hate it, love it, or hate it. You know? well, I'm Italian, so I would eat pizza every day. Oh, yeah. 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 I, I had a, a pizza in Naples, a margarita pizza there, and it was amazing. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing like New York pizza, man. Yeah. New York yeah. pizza is good. Like pizza in Manhattan is always good. Yeah. But yeah, it's been great chatting with you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, and, uh, thanks for having us. Great questions. Uh, remember to check out their new album coming out on uh, March the 8th. War and, Paint. Uh, War Paint. Yep. Thank yeah. you so much, guys. Thanks for having us. Sure. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Ah, oh, oh. <laughs>